Heard you were talking shit like I wasn't gonna find out. Welcome gangsters, hoodlums, and thugs alike to the Rainbow Knights tutorial. Rainbow Knights is a real-time card placement game for two to six players. There are six Rainbow Knights to choose from and they all have the same number of cards. The only difference is the unique Rainbow Knight design. We have this panther one. We have a blue horse. We have a pink piggy, a yellow gopher or chipmunk or squirrel or something like that. We have a green slizzerp and lastly a rainbow unicorn. Each player picks one rainbow knight and they grab all the cards matching their knight. And then you'll find that we're left with these four border cards and these ten clouds. Using these borders, we can agree on a play size. Simply place your borders so that they make a square as big or as small as you would like it. Of course, you're going to want to consider the number of players and leave enough space so that all players can place their cards within the spot. Then with the leftover clouds, the players can choose to place them around the board however they like. There's no set way to do it. You can try to make a symmetrical map that's balanced and you can put as many or as little as you want. Each player is going to take their deck of cards, shuffle them, and then take the top card and place it so that the bottom of that card is aligned along the edge of the board, anywhere they'd like. So this player could start anywhere here or along the side edges, wherever they like, so long as the back lines up with the edge. And no two players can be directly next to each other, to keep it fair. Then the players will take the rest of their cards and split it in half the best way they can. Then they place the two halves face up in front of them within easy reach. Once every player has done so, does it make someone to count down the start of the game and then the game will start in real time. Three, two, one, go, and you're off. Once the game is officially started, your goal is to take your cards and place it so that they make a continuous line. The cloud at the bottom of your card must align perfectly atop of the knight of your previously placed card. So now it looks like your knight is going continuously down the line. So nothing like this where the knights touch each other or something weird diagonally like this, nothing, none of that. Cloud goes on top of the knight. The goal of the game is to use up all of your cards thereby making the longest line without having your knight run off of the edge of the map into another player or touch a cloud. It's kind of like Tron light cycles, if you know what that is. The goal is to be fast, but also to be smart. Because of the way that we split our cards here, you essentially have two options to pick one, your left and your right option. But let's say neither of the two cards that are on the top of your stacks will help your current situation. If that's the case, you can take the top card of one stack and move it to the top of the other stack. And you can continue doing this until you find the card that you need. The time you spend doing this is the time you spend not continuing your line and perhaps letting other players cut you off, make longer lines, or finish their stacks before you do. Because the winner is whoever finishes their stack first. If all players are eliminated, the winner is whoever has the least amount of cards remaining. If you're curious as to how one player can eliminate themselves, let's say Player A has placed this card down and player B places this card so that their line goes over top of player A. Because I'm the one who placed this card, I'm the one who ran into their line and so I got knocked out. But there might be situations where you see that players are about to collide with each other. So you might want to quickly throw down a card before your opponent does 
so that they run into your line and you don't run into theirs. But even if a player is eliminated, all of their cards still remain. And you still run the risk of running into a cloud or running off the edge of the board. So maybe you might want to make the most distracting line so that other players run into you. You can play a slower turn-based games if you prefer, but the spirit of the game lies in the frantic real-time placement. And that's all there is to it. It is a super simple, really fun game to bring out when you want to kill time and you have a bunch of friends over. And in between you and me, I mean the cards are laminated. That means you can spill your drink on it. I mean your juice. I mean your milk. I mean your water, you know? And that's Rainbow Nights. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Also, go down to your neighborhood candy store and buy the biggest rainbow lollipop you can find, because that lets YouTube know that my channel is good business. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching.